So you really want the people in your email list to open your emails, right? Because if they don't, not so much is going to happen. So in this video, I wanna share my six best tips to increase your email open rates. So let's just dive right in. So tip number one is to segment your list so that you can send more relevant emails. So I really think that one of the biggest mistakes that people are making right now with email marketing is that they treat everyone on their email list the same. People have different needs, different struggles, different goals. And if you can figure out what these are, then you can really hyper-personalize all your emails and send more relevant emails. And if your emails are more relevant, then engagement will go up. So then I wanna show you three different methods that you can use to segment your audience. So the first one is a survey welcome page. So this is basically a page that people get after they opt in for something. So in this case, a checklist, so someone is opting in for a checklist, boom, they got redirected to this page. And then I say here, your checklist will be there in five minutes. Let's make it personal. In a few minutes, you will receive your checklist. But before my automations get to work, I want to make sure I'm sending you exactly what you need. So go ahead and answer some quick questions. And then over here, I created a little survey. I created the survey with a tool called the Write Message. And what is really cool about the Write Message is that when I answer a question here, for example, here I say, I sell digital products, then we can answer or like ask another question. What kind of digital products do you offer? online courses, then we can ask another one if we want to, and another one if we want to. And all these answers automatically get synced to your email service provider. So in my case, that's Active Campaign. And then inside Active Campaign, all these answers will be stored into custom fields so that we can use that to personalize our emails. So I think that is pretty cool. A page like this is really, really effective. Another method that you could use is email links. So this one is probably the simplest one to implement. You basically just have your email, you ask a question, and then there are a couple of answers. And then we just ask people, click one of the links below that describes you best. Now then in this case you see here, for example, I sell online courses, I sell memberships, I sell a software solution, I sell other digital products. And then depending on which email service provider you are using, you can add tags or store these answers into custom fields so that you can also use that to send more relevant emails. So I think that is pretty cool. And then the third method I wanna show you is with site tracking. So I'm, for example, using Active Campaign, and with Active Campaign, you can add a pixel to your website so that you can see which pages contacts are visiting. So for example, here you see that I add a tag, interest, topic, Active Campaign. If someone is visiting a page that contains Active Campaign at least two to five times. Now, then I do a couple of other things here. You don't have to worry about that, but I think this is probably a really easy way to figure out what people are interested in. So that is tip number one. Tip number two is to send helpful content that people actually want to receive. So whenever you send out an email, just think, does this add any value to this person's life? Does it help them in any way? If the answer is no, then you're probably doing something wrong because I don't think people wanna hear about your offers, about your products over and over and over and over again. It's okay to sometimes pitch your products, but not the only thing. Email marketing, I think, should be used to build trust. And I think one of the quickest ways to build trust is by providing value. And you, you will see that if you do that, then you get replies like these from people. So for example, here I have Hannes, and he said, you are the only one who I'm opening my emails from, from all of my subscriptions. Thank Thank you for all the value that you are providing, Max. And I think that's super cool. I get emails like this almost every day just by sending helpful, valuable content. Now, then tip number three is to test if your emails are authenticated correctly with mailtester.com. So mailtester.com is a pretty simple tool. And what it basically gives you is an email address, then you send an email to that email address, and then you're going to get a result like this. So you see here that it says, whoa, perfect, you can send. So my score is 9.3 out of 10, which is pretty high, I'm really happy with that. And what I think you should aim for here is at least an eight or above. 
And if you scroll down here, then you can also see what you are doing wrong. So for example, when I got started with email marketing, I did not know this. I didn't know all these authentication things. I just started sending emails and I just noticed that they were not being delivered or people were sending me emails like, hey Max, I'm not finding your emails anywhere. Where are they? And then I noticed that I did some things like really horribly, horribly wrong. So really be sure to test this. It's a free tool. So be sure to do that. Then tip number four is to try to catch the eye by using people, their name, emojis, or numbers inside subject lines. So you probably know subject lines are super duper important, maybe even more important than what's inside the email itself, because it's basically the headline. If they don't read it, if they don't open your email, then it doesn't matter what's inside your email. So really think well about your subject lines. And then a little trick here that I found that really works well for me is that when I use people, their name, emojis, or numbers, that in general, my open rate seems to go a little bit up because I think when, for example, people are inside their inbox and have like a long list of all underread emails, then if you have something that is like popping out of it, like their name, an emoji, or I have the feeling numbers also work well, then that increases the likelihood a little bit that people are actually going to open it. And here are a few examples that I am using. So here, for example, when somebody would request a checklist, then they're going to get an email with the subject that says checklist for max in lowercase. So that's maybe another trick that you could experiment with. But my theory is, is that if I would write max like this, then it just looks normal. When I do it like this, it looks a little bit like it's handwritten by someone. So I have not found any studies about this. It's just something I'm trying, but I have to feeling it works well for me. So give it a try. So then here an emoji. And then the next one here is my three biggest learnings of 2020. So I included some numbers over here because I have to feel numbers also with, um, for example, titles on YouTube or in search results in Google tend to work a little bit better. So my theory was that with email subject lines, that probably works too. Then here is another one. So here it says, read this before and then one minute to midnight, but then like in these emoji symbols, like the two, the three, the five and the six. So here we have numbers and emojis in one. Here, another one that says enrollment closes tonight. So then here I have a little clock emoji. Here, another one, how I increased open rates by 31.5%. Or here, another one, this one is for when somebody is signing up for my free email course. Then here it says, you are in with a little party emoji. So just some inspiration, just give it a try, test a bit around. Then tip number five is to make your sender info personal. So here are some examples. I'm for example, just using my name, Max von Kollenberg, and I personally think this is the best thing that you could do, but it has to fit your business also, for example. So if you have like a big business, you work in a big team, then maybe you do not want to use your personal name. But then one thing that I think you could maybe still try is for example, here from Bonjoro, I got an email from Amy from Bonjoro. So it's like Amy, okay, I got an email from an actual person and it is from Bonjoro. So instead of that, it just says, Bonjoro, then I'm like, ah, oh, company, ah, oh, it's probably a newsletter, and then I would not even bother opening it. And here also, Notion is doing something similar. So they say here, Ivan at Notion. So this is something that you could experiment with. I personally really like to at least include the first name of the people that are sending the email. And because my business name is also Max von Kollenburg, I also just use that as my complete sender info. So it's something important to keep in mind that also the sender info is important because this is probably what people see maybe even before they see the subject line. Now then tip number six, maybe the most important one of them all is stop guessing a B test different subject lines. So it depends on which email software you are using. But for example, I'm using active campaign, like I already mentioned a few times and inside active campaign, you can use a feature called the split feature. You see it over here and then you can just say like, okay, I want to send this email to people that follow path A and I want to send this email to people that follow path B. And this way you do not have to guess what works best. You can just test different subject lines, send it to a few hundred people, and then you actually know what is working best. And if you're doing that for your whole email funnel, then in the end it will really compound because people are opening more and more and more and more. 
So yeah, these were my six best tips to increase your email open rate. If I missed one that you think is really important as well, please leave a comment down below. I'm super duper curious. And if you have any questions, also make sure to leave them in the comments below and then I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.